I've never told this story and that's partly because I don't know how to tell this story. Honestly, this is probably the craziest story that I own. It's probably like between 2014 and 2015. I wake up one morning, my friend James is like, yo, let's go to Natterar. Natterar Park, it's a nature park in Peapack in Gladstone, New Jersey. I'm carpooling with my friend James and we get there and my other friends link up with us. So we start getting on the trail. Naturally, we're just going on there to just relax, get some sun, woke, smeed. I don't wanna get demonetized. Naturally, we're by a stream. My friend pulls out a J out of his jacket. We go through the first J. And then he goes through his jacket again, pulls out the second J. And me, I'm like a person where I don't really woke smeed like that. So I don't really have a tolerance. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good off that, bro. You know, y'all go ahead. Whenever I indulge, I, I go case by case. I use proper discernment before I like put myself in a situation where I'm not able to function. You're just out in nature right now. This is like a safe spot. You're with friends, you're not alone. It wasn't peer pressure, that's just always how I've been. Like, I've been the type of person to turn down indulging. Why not? Okay, so we get through the second J, and then he goes in his jacket, pulls out a third J, and I'm like, yo, bro, I'm wearing some John Lennon shades right now. I'm just like, yo, I don't think, I don't think this is the move, bro. So I indulge. We get back onto the trail now. I have a water bottle that's like kind of empty. I just like drop it. Why that's important? I wasn't aware that I dropped a water bottle. My friend was like, yo, are you littering now? I circle back, go pick up the water bottle. Didn't think anything of it at the time and just keep walking on the trail. We get back to like where our cars are. My other friend, not James is backing out the bends out the one way probably the most expensive car like in the parking lot and we're just like bro what is he doing you would think by the car he's driving that he like knows what he's doing just backing out like a sixty thousand dollar car out the wrong way and we're just like geeking up like laughing and stuff none of this stuff is like actually funny but like if you're high like this stuff is like kind of funny we go to quick check because naturally we want something to eat it's a lot like subway if you're unfamiliar but there's a quick check in new jersey you're supposed to put your order in on this little kiosk computer right and then they go and like make it for you i'm like talking to them as if like they're gonna like take my orders just from me like talking so i'm like yeah let me get some bread and they don't move they're like looking at each other not even saying anything i'm like bro the bread oh i'm sorry my bad white bread and they're like still like not moving i'm like bro what is going on and then i look around and it took me a while to realize i had to use the kiosk i'm getting higher and higher i'm like all right, all right. i'm ordering now and then my mom calls me and my mom's saying sweetheart we have an open house tonight. You can't be at the house. The real estate people are coming over with a potential buyer. So that's why you can't be over there. Make sure you tell your brother, don't be there when they're there. So leave now, right? And just go do something else for a couple hours and then come back. So I'm like, all right, bet. I text my brother, we can't be at the house. I'm about to come back to the house and then we could just both dip. After quick check, we dropped my friend off at work. He worked at ShopRite. James is getting dropped off and then I'm getting dropped off right after him. So I'm pulling into my driveway now. And keep in mind, I'm still high to my mind. I finished the sandwich. It was, it was hit, it was busting, bro. I had like a Gatorade bottle that I just had still. Pulling in the driveway and I see some cars trying to figure out what, what's going on. I see two people at the front door of my house and we never use the front door. So it's kind of like a little odd, like sus. Who are these people at the front door? Are they doing door-to-door -door sales? It was honestly the first thing I thought because they were like dressed up in like polos and stuff like that and slacks, you know, they just looked like they weren't here to like rob us or anything like that. I get out of the car, I'd say bye to my friend and then I go through the side door. As soon as I open the door, and I'm just like, oh snap, yo, the real estate people. And I'm still wearing the John Lennon shade. I'm like, I can't be here right now. So I close the door gently and I leave. I start walking up the driveway and then I remember and I look back and I'm looking at the cars and I'm like, there's three cars here. One of them's mine, right? Mine and my brothers, we share a car. It was the Acura Integra. We had two other cars. So I'm like, okay, so the other car is probably the real estate person. And then the other car, I was like, that third car, I've seen it before. Like, this is all coming to me so late. And I was like, bro, it's probably his girlfriend, bro. Okay, well, let me just text Tyler real quick. Wait, they could be doing something right now. They could be getting busy right now. So I'm like, yo, snap, bro. I'm like calling him right now instead of texting. He's not picking up his phone, obviously. So I'm just like trying to panic. I'm like, yo, how can I get him out of the house right now? What can I do? If I go through the front door, they're gonna see me, the real estate people. If I go through the side door, I have to eventually pass where they are to go to my brother's room. So I'm like, damn. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm thinking with the Gatorade bottle that I had that was empty, let me just go to his window and just throw it at the window. I'm over here with 
John Lennon shade throwing an empty Gatorade bottle at my brother's window during an open house in New Jersey when I'm not even supposed to be there right now. And the real estate dude is literally trying to sell the house. And I'm over here not supposed to be there, just hiding my mind, doing some crazy suspect soliciting. Throw it up one time, he doesn't answer. Throw it up the second time. Like, I can't say anything at this point because I don't want the real estate people to hear me. I throw it up a third time. He comes to the window, he's shirtless. So I'm like already putting two and two together. I'm like, oh snap, this is pretty bad. He looks left and right and then looks down at me, sees me, and I'm just trying to get him to understand that I need him out of the house. I'm just motioning. Whatever I could do, whatever I could think of while wearing the shades to get him out of the house. So he nods and picks up on what I'm trying to get him to do. And then I go to the side door trying to get out of Dodge. He comes out the house eventually with his girlfriend. And I'm just like, yo, what happened in there? Literally three seconds later, the real estate person and the potential buyer come right out right after him. And I'm just like, oh, snap. They, they know. Like, they... <laughs> they ran into each other. So I'm like ready to get up out of here, right? The real estate person is naturally trying to like tour the garage and like talk about the garage. So my brother is like thinking that like, okay, let me say some stuff about this garage that could potentially help sell the house. And I'm like, yo, bro, let's go. We're not even supposed to be here right now. My brother really likes to talk. And so he's not making this situation any better for us at all or his girlfriend. Yeah, the garage was unfinished for so long. Yeah, it's dusty in there. Just saying the worst possible stuff. I could tell the real estate person was trying trying to like wait along the sidelines of the conversation to see if like it would just end naturally. But no, my brother goes on to say, yeah, when my brother was younger, he fell down through the roof. Yeah, we had a hole in the floor in the roof. It was quite a fall, but luckily he fell down on a mattress so he wasn't hurt. Unfinished wall in there, the drywall, it's very dusty in there. There's bees up in the attic, freak out every summer and it's super, super hot up in the garage. I literally had to just grab my brother, we get in the car and then we just dip. But then I'm asking him like, yo bro, like, what happened in there, bro? You gotta tell me what happened. So we start laughing the entire car drive. I don't even know where we went. We just left and just went somewhere. I think we went to like Friendly's or something like that. Friendly's, it's like a diner. And we just started laughing, bro. So he said that as soon as he saw me and realized that he had to leave, he like put his shirt on. He heard a knock at the door. You hear a lot of movement as they're trying to like fix themselves and make sure they're like decent. Comes to the door and then he's just like, Hey, and they're like, hey, so uh, you know your mom said there'd be an open house today, right? Yeah, so uh, we didn't know you guys would be here. He was just like, oh, yeah. He thought nothing of it. That was exactly how you would react if you're guilty of something. Just this motion alone just gives you an idea as to how far into the deed they were. He's like, yeah, um, no, we're leaving. We're, we're, we're out of here. So he just walks in between them and it was like super awkward because like it's only like a three foot hallway. He's walking in between two people with his girlfriend and they're not even supposed to be there. And the door was locked. Everything about that situation was so awkward and cringe. Bruh, it must have been a very awkward situation for the potential buyer like who wants to buy a house when the current owner is having sex during the open house and didn't even know that there was an open house today everything about that just sounds wild balls to the wall just crazy bro i can't make this story up bro it sounds like a movie harold and kumar 2.5 Anyways, thank you guys for letting me share that story with you. My most treasured story. I'll let you know if I have any more stories. If I feel comfortable telling more stories, depending on how this video does, hit that like button. I wish there was audio reply like Discord, but leave a comment down below and I'll think about telling more stories in the future. Peace.